Today is Thursday, 19th of December 2013. It is 6:47 p.m. and I'm leaving work to go home. It's nearly Christmas. I can't believe it. It's what is it, the 19th already? <sighs> Where did the year go? We've done a lot this year. We really have. We've we've gone from a little law firm that didn't really know what it was doing to two law firms with a very impressive everything really. I mean, we've grown so much. We're at the point where we're looking for new premises now. Um, we're looking at one Martin Place, which is the heart of the business sector of Sydney really. Law, finance, everything. It's 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 like one of the best addresses in the city. And it's crazy that we're looking at that because three years ago when we moved into the current place, we just thought, how on earth are we gonna fill these chairs and tables? And now we don't have enough space at all. Which is great. Uh, it's a great problem. But um, just like that, we grew... Just like that, we became, you know, something out of nothing. There were so many nights and days where we were just stressing and worried and... I mean, even more recently, I've been waking up at 4 or 5 a.m. Because I'm not sure. Uh, I'm scared. Uh, that's the honest truth. I'm scared of the projects that I'm undertaking. They're so much bigger than me. They really are. And it's not the bits that I've done before. Those, those I, I know that I've done them, and I can do them again. It's the new bits that I'm, you know, tackling that I wonder. I mean, every module has a certain risk of not going right. But it's, it's the new ones, where there's greater uncertainty, and, and they just seem scarier. Even though on paper, you know, on the theory checks out, on the practic practical level, they work, and the prototypes and all that, and... I don't know, like, no matter how many times I wake up at, you know, 4am in the morning, going over my notes, I just can't help but keep worrying. And just a little bit scared and stressed. But I persevere because it's worth doing. It really is, in my opinion. I want to build the world's strongest law firm. If, if, if I can, you know. <laughs> Who knows? I, or at least I'll give everyone a good run for their money. Absolutely. I, I think the mindset that's changed within me is, isn't so much... I want to be number one because I can. And I'm awesome and, and you know, lots of ego and things like that. It, it's, it's changed to... I want to be number one because... Just take a step back and look around. Look at the people around me. I've been working with these guys eight hours a day. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hours. It's a law firm, so you work long, 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 long hours. And I've seen them worry and stress and nearly cry because of certain injustices. And they try so hard. If I can make it all better for them, you know, give them more tools, more power, more knowledge, more information, and that would make me really happy. And I don't care if I'm number one anymore. I just want to make them number one. So that's, that's, that's my thinking. That's my mindset. Crazy taxis. I'm not letting you in. Where the fuck are you going? And so... I'd like to finish 2014, 2013. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't say 2012. Um, I'd like to finish 2013 at peace. Nice bowl of red, watching the fireworks from the 40th floor of some hotel, front row seats of, of the spectacle. And I'll bathe and I'll sleep. I'm, I'm really not the partying type. 
And then what I what, what the highlight is uh, beyond this is waking up on the first day of 2014, riding out, uh, hiring a push bike, and spending you know the crack of dawn sunrise cycling. I want to see the first sunrise of 2014. That would be beautiful, and I think that's a great way to start the year. Since the last video vlog, I've been all around Australia. Um, it was a lot of fun. I got to see the other states. And <laughs> it's very much the same. I mean, each one has a different theme or climate or, you know. Yeah, I think theme is, is, is the right word for it. Um, and it's own little idiosyncratic thing going on. It makes it so wonderful to be in. Let's just see if I can squeeze through. Might just go through. Might just go through. Nee -nee, nee -nee. Might pull up here. Because it's a little bit tight. I don't have to go all the way up, do I? Oh. I found that um, <laughs> my popularity as a motorcyclist tenfolded when I started wearing sunglasses. Um, or, or visors that are completely black and you don't see, you don't make eye contact. People just sort of like that a bit more, the anonymous, um, the figure, really. <laughs> um, yeah, people have been talking to me more in, in the elevator. And even, like, every motorcyclist that I go by, I wave at, and he will definitely wave back. I think it's because I've also got lots of bags on my bag, on my, sorry, bike. Got a tank bag that makes the engine look like super muscular, of all things. I've got panniers and a seat bag as well that contours with the bike made by Honda. So I look like a really serious motorcyclist person rather than yet another dinky commuter or a, you know, squiddy, um, squiddy, uh, try hard with the sports bike and no gear and trying to go fast and yeah, I look like an aged motorcyclist if, if that makes any sense. If only they knew that I was tiny and basically a Japanese girl on the inside. <laughs> uh, there are four people in that car. <laughs> the kids just look back at me and now they're stealing glances. I see you. Well, they, they don't know that I see them because of sunglasses, but you know. <laughs> it's nice to ride a vehicle that makes people happy. That makes people look at you like, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> and then you wave at them and they're like, oh my god, that cool guy just waved at me. Because motorcyclists are inherently cool, especially ones on red sports bikes. <laughs> he just gave me the... Th he just gave me a... <laughs> He gave me the demon fingers, so I gave it back to him. This is the bit where I have a freaking accident because I'm too busy playing with kids. 